Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my next episode of Stampomania. No, it's not over. It's not over yet. <laughs> I'm going to bug you with my stamps. I don't want to talk too much. I want to jump right in and we finished the last one, I think with the Julie Nutting doll and because I organized them like that, I do have a couple more of them, but not many more. So I do have the little Valentina. And Valentina is the one who was my very first one. <laughs> Just because it was the only one at Hobby Lobby. And I so wanted a Julie Nutting doll that I used my coupon on her and I got it. Or she was even on sale and I got it. I don't know, but she was around $3 for me. And I love her because it's Valentina. And then when Hobby Lobby had their sale... I got another Valentina, or even two, <laughs> because they had them for like a dollar maybe, or maybe even less. And this one is, I believe you say Priscilla, so I made my Valentine's pocket letter with her, and I like her. I got her for Christmas, I think, from my daughter. <laughs> she got me a couple a couple, maybe two or three of them, just because she knew that I liked them. And all she could do was just grab some at Michael's, and Michael's doesn't really have a lot. So that was good, because I believe she would have bought them all if Michael's would have them all. That's just how my daughter is, you know? Very generous, and I love that about her. And I believe this is like... This is what we taught her <laughs> to be. <laughs> no, she's really very generous. She's a good girl. Okay. And moving on, there is one more. This one I just recently crafted with for 4th of July. And her name is Aubrey. And no, Audrey? 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 I think so. Ah. I hope so. <laughs> However her name is, she's really cute and she's really fun to craft with because she has those um, big pieces. So, um, you know, it's, it's really good to paper piece or something like that. Not sure where I ended because my daughter came in and asked me if I want something. I just talked about her being generous. She is going to a store and she will pick up some ice cream for me. Yay! Because California is hot. Okay, on the other one, so in the other pocket, I just do have this huge, um, gorgeous girl. Oh, I start to missing out words in my brain. Okay, so it means that I have, it's time for me to take a break. But however, I got this from a friend for my birthday and it's mermaid. So it's going to be used one day in my huge mermaid project. I swear I will. Is it bad to say that I swear? This is just a saying we use in Germany a lot. However, I will make a mermaid project one day and it will be huge. <laughs> get ready for that and I didn't mind because I only had just a couple of big stamps I really didn't mind to cut them down but now I got um, a lot of the big stamps from another front and I store them in a different way so those two will eventually come out of here and go in the other storage but for right now I'm good with that because I cannot just you know do and redo and redo everything <sighs> no energy for that but I know where they are and I don't know which ones are in here because everything is in my binder. And there are the two other ones. <laughs> I also got this one from a friend. So, you know, I think I have never bought a big one because this one came from a friend as well. <laughs> so I have never bought a big one and I might have won one in a giveaway and one, um, I'm not sure anymore. But I know that I got them. I did not um, buy them myself. And I'm very, very appreciative for that. I have used her. I haven't used this one yet. But I believe I used this part or the heart or something. But I did color her and use her. She's really, really pretty. And next up is... Yes. <laughs> Coffee stamps. <laughs> Again. <laughs> you know. Really. I like those because she's like peeking out of there so you can actually make her like here on the side of a cup or whatever you want to do and she's really really cute and she holds a huge looks like a donut to me and 
It is a huge donut. And she holds a little cup, you know, so there is a difference in sizes. <laughs> and yeah, it says survival juice. And what does this one say? What? What? I, I do not understand. Coffee because something is bad for you, but I don't know what. I don't know. I can't read it. I have to ask Hubby. Uh, it's too small for me. Can you read it? Something is bad for you. So, however, oh, it might be, uh, I don't know, it might be Coke. So, however, it looks really cute. I want to move on because I want to, I want to finish at least one pack of the, of the stems. I do have this one. Haven't colored it yet, except maybe I colored those two. I'm not sure now, but, um, I need to, and it comes with a little kitty and a little doggy and, you know, She's so cute with her glasses. I have glasses. My daughter has glasses. She probably looks like my daughter. She's really, really cute. The boy, I don't know. I'm not really doing much with boys, but I'm pretty sure I could. You know, something really interesting, really. I will see. But I like those a lot. And it's coffee. So, nothing else to say <laughs> except that it's coffee, right? Now we will just move on and there's more dolls and more girls and <laughs> I call it those except for this one but they are really cute they were my first girls to color which I tried I believe I tried her she was the first one to try out I'm not sure now but I love this I love you 24 7 <laughs> I just love this saying so and there is a couple more Julie netting dolls um, in a different size Love to have different sizes. And then there are just the normal little dolls. I don't think they have a name. But this looks very Christmassy. And this one looks like, you know, shopping. But I would just put her on any Paris project. <laughs> because she just looks, to me personally, she's just connected to Paris. Maybe. I don't know why I think that people are shopping in Paris. When I was in Paris, I didn't shop, so I, I don't know. Why, why is Paris, um, why does it equal shopping to me? <laughs> okay, next. I do not know den dandelions. Do you call them like that? You know, you blow them up and then they fly around. I got this from a friend, and I believe this one even came from Germany. I'm not sure. And then this one. One of my favorites. Look, this is my favorite flower. And somebody told me how to pronounce that, but I'm not going to try right now on cam. <laughs> but it's adorable. And um, I like all the flowers, but this one is my very, very favorite right here. I like this. This is the second favorite. <laughs> but I really need to color. I saw a project somewhere with this one, and I really want to do it. And, you know, I should just find it. Maybe when I continue doing my Pinterest craft series, I think I took a screenshot and it came from, from Pinterest. But I'm not quite sure. You know, there's so many things in my head that um, I don't know anymore. Oh, what came from where? I know that this one was sent to me by a friend and I believe this is um, from Germany. I haven't had a chance to make any um, wedding card or anything like that yet. So, but you could use um, the cake and stuff like this, like the little things here as well for something different. And I also did not use this one yet, and I should try, is one of the layering stamps. So, but I only have like the pink color in three shades, you know, but it, yeah, I think pink would be perfect for this one. But I don't know if the shades are really good for this one. I should try. Excuses, excuses, Irina. You know. <laughs> you know, I, I I always have excuses. Ready to go. <laughs> Real quick. Just like. <laughs> do you? <laughs> if you didn't use something, but you still bought something new, do you have an excuse for that all the time? <laughs> because I do. <laughs> Okay, I'm trying to figure out if this was one of my first 
stamps I ever bought. Not my very first one. My very first one I cut apart. <laughs> but I do like this one, especially because of the mason jars. And I know that I used them too. I didn't color them or anything like that, but I know that I used them. But now I also know how to heat emboss and do stuff like that. So maybe I should try it once again. Because I can imagine that you can just like heat emboss one and it looks really pretty. So I'll give it another try, even though I liked it without coloring or anything like that. And then there is another one which can be used in my planner, which I don't use in my planner. And um, I like it. I like the way that this looks not straight. You know, it's just like you did it yourself. And I mostly did do things like that myself in a planner. You know, I didn't have stamps or anything like that. So it says cherish each day and counting blessings and I love everything about you. So you could actually use it somewhere else as well, not just in your planner. You know, if you are writing a about me or maybe you are making a card for your husband or whatever, and then I love, or, you know, like I love this and then write down what you love about him or something like that. Also here, remember this could go with that as well. You know, you can just have a couple things to remember. And this goes back into my wonderful organization. Did I tell you that I have a great organization? I probably did in every video, but you should check it out if you didn't, because I am just in love, in love with that. Okay, move on to a background stamp, but it can also be like, I know I talk about, uh, a lot about heat embossing, but I think it would be really good too you know, as heat embossing, so um, in the background or for a card or something like that. But I really like the older style of the little Santa here. And the other one is very, very similar. It has a bird and a cage. I just love something like that. You know, I'm not quite sure how to use it. Like there are people who can just um, craft anything Oh, I forgot the word for that. What is the word for the old stuff? Vintage. There you go. Anything vintage or shabby chic. Just like that. It's in their blood. It's not in my blood. I love it. But um, I think I have to do more of it to get a feel for it. So maybe I should just start and try. This one is almost three by four. So it's a really, really cool one. I'm in love with those. I believe I have a couple more, but they will be, I will show you later because I, they are not organized like by any theme in my little bags because I have the themes all in my, if you haven't seen, in my folder. So I don't have to look for a theme in my organization. All the themes are here and it doesn't matter how I put my stamps into the bags, if it makes sense. Okay, and we are almost at 15 again, so this will be my last one for this episode. And it's very, very simple. I got, I don't know, are those the Dollar Tree um, Alphas? It could be. It could be. That's how they look like. Except for this part, I have never stamped them anywhere else. Probably just because I got this Alphas from... Hobby Lobby, you know, that you can connect and stamp, but this is another font and another size. So it's always good to have. And I believe it was a dollar at Dollar Tree. I really do. So, and this one I was hunting for, but then I found it and I love it. <laughs> Look. <laughs> for this one, I could like really die. His face is so adorable. <laughs> He's just adorable. <laughs> Look at his eyes. <laughs> He's crossed eyed and he has like his tongue hanging out there. And it says, You are weird, and I love it. <laughs> and also, like, I like the way you roll <laughs> because Javi and I we would just, you know, make fun and say, This is just how I roll, or something like this, you know. <laughs> so I should make him a card and just put, I like the way you roll on there. 
<laughs> but he might be like offended by me, you know, putting this on there and um, comparing this um, animal to him because this rolls. I forgot how you call it in English, so I just don't want to try. <laughs> I will not remember and I don't want to try and pick a word for this animal. I seriously can't remember. But you can you can write it down in the comments for me. I know you like to do that because it just helps me to learn English, which is good. I am never like, you know, insulted or anything if you correct me on some words because I need to learn, right? I'm living here. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this one. I did. I had fun. I don't know. Today I had fun to show it off a little bit. It's not a show off. It's just, you know. And there is some more to go. And I need to make a new storage. And recently I have gotten some happy mail. And it came in this box. It is a flat rate. Medium flat rate box. So this box is perfect. I use this one for my organization. I have two of them already and I need a third one and it was perfect. I got it in my mail. I will rip all of this off. I will cover it with, I need two 12 by 12 sheets of paper to cover the front like and the sides. And then those um, my self-made baggies fit straight into it. And um, they, it's deep enough, and it's wide enough, and it's perfect size for those. And the baggies are just sheet protectors from Walmart. You know, I cut them in half. So I think it's the cheapest storage you can have. But like I said, just go ahead and check it out. I have it in my playlist for planning and organization. There is a storage for my stamps. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. And I would say share, subscribe, subscribe to my new channel, guys. I need you all over there. I know I'm not posting too much, but I want to share with you my normal um, life, what I'm doing, except for crafting, like cooking. <laughs> so if you are interested, go subscribe. And otherwise, just enjoy your day. I see you in my next video. Bye-bye.